Hello students, welcome to our virtual music room. Our lesson focus for today is the elements of music. We will be highlighting seven elements of music. Melody, harmony, tempo, rhythm, dynamics, form, and texture. The purpose of this lesson is to help students have a better understanding on the building blocks of music creation through the elements of music and enhancing their music skills. Our objectives for today are number one, I can name and define seven elements of music. And number two, I can sing a song about the elements of music expressively. Our South Carolina College and Career Ready Standards are Anchor Standard 3. I can sing alone or with others. Anchor Standard 6. I can analyze music. And Anchor Standard 9. I can relate music to personal meaning, other arts disciplines, other subjects, and career paths. Our artistic processes are performing, responding, and connecting. So, let's get started. What are the seven elements of music? What is the plan or pattern for creating a piece of music called? Which element depicts the main idea of a piece of music? Which element describes the length of sound? Which element of music is present when there are two or more sounds at the same time? Boys and girls, the answers to these essential music questions will be explored today in our lesson on the elements of music. Boys and girls, did you know that music can be analyzed by considering a variety of elements or parts individually or together? A commonly used list of the main music elements include melody, harmony, tempo, rhythm, dynamics, form, and texture. Melody is a succession of tones arranged in such a way to give musical sense. Harmony is the sounding of a series of a group of tones at the same time or simultaneously. Tempo is the speed of the composition. Common terms used to indicate tempo is adagio, which means slow, Allegro, which means fast, and Andante, which means at a walking pace. Rhythm is the movement or procedure with uniform recurrence of beat, accent, or the like. Dynamics refers to the loudness or softness of music, such as piano, which means soft, and forte, which means loud. Form refers to the structure, plan, or pattern of a musical composition or performance. Common musical forms include AB verse refrain form, ABA form, and rondo form. Texture describes how layers of sound within a piece of music interact. The texture of a piece of music can be considered thick or thin. Three common textures of music are monophonic, homophonic, and polyphonic. 
to get a better understanding of the seven elements of music, let's watch the enclosed video entitled The Elements of Music. Here we go! This is Mrs. Morris. Today we are going to learn about the elements of music. The elements of music are the building blocks that make music interesting. When combined together, they can make music sound amazing. Let's take a look at each element, its definition, and how it works in music. Melody is a series of notes connected together to express one idea. In classical music, an organized melody is called a theme. A composer is considered successful when the listener continues to remember the melody even when the song is over, like the song you just listened to. Harmony is when two or more notes are played together. If you were looking at a music score, you would see these organized groups of notes stacked on top of each other to create a chord. Chords can have a major, minor, or even dissonant sounds that can set the mood of a song, making it sound happy, sad, or even dreamy. Rhythm is music's way of telling time. It is the organization of a variety of beats that create rhythm. Rhythm makes people want to tap their feet, clap their hands, or just get up and dance. Wow, that was a lot of fun but I have a lot more musical elements to teach you about, so let's move on. Meter tells us how many beats there are in a measure, such as three-quarter time. Three-quarter time gets three beats in a measure. It is the type of music you would hear in a waltz, like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Four-four time, or common time, is most often used in music. You can hear this meter in a composition for a marching band. Tempo determines how fast or slow a song will go. It is the heartbeat or the pace of music. Italian words are used to describe the various tempo markings. Largo means slow and presto means fast. And of course, there are several other tempo markings in between. The tempo of music will help to determine the emotion of the music. Slower music might make a person feel sleepy or sad, but fast music will make people feel joyful or happy, or maybe want to get up and dance again. Combining rhythms, meter, and tempo together can create many different styles of music. The combinations are limitless. Dynamics tell us how loud or soft to play music. Italian words are used again to describe how music should be played. A word like pianissimo tells us that we should play the music very soft. And a word like mezzo forte means to play the music medium loud. You might also see a sign that looks like a V on its side. And that means crescendo or get louder. Timbre is an interesting word. It looks like the word timber, but it's pronounced timbre. Timbre is the characteristic sound that distinguishes one instrument from another instrument. For example, what sound do you hear playing right now? If you guessed flute, you are correct. Texture is an interesting element as well. Texture combines melody, harmonies, rhythms, and timbres to create an overall sound of a piece of music. And our last element is form. Form is the roadmap of music. One of the most common forms is ABA form and is heard in many kinds of music, from jazz to classical to even pop music. But we will learn more about that in a future lesson.
That was an informative video, boys and girls. Here's another video featuring a song entitled Musical Elements Song. I want you to sing along. Are you ready? Here we go! It's loud, quiet, rhythm, long, short, instrument, for families, pitch, high, low, texture, thick, thin, timbre, sound, quality, tempo, fast, slow, these are the musical elements, demonstration, dynamics, Faster, faster. These are the musical elements. That was an inspiring song, boys and girls. Our final video uses the word drip and the letters T T T to help you remember the basic music elements. I want you to sing along with the video, boys and girls and respond saying the word drip and the letters T, T, T. Here we go! When you find yourself getting stuck in music, all you got to do is just try to remember drip three T's. Dynamics, rhythm, instruments, pitch, Texture, timbre, tempo Just try to remember Drip 3 T's 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 Just try to remember Drip 3 T's D R was a motivating video summarizing our lesson on the elements of music. Here's your assignment for today. I want you to write in your music journal the seven elements of music that were highlighted in our lesson today. Here's your assignment again. I want you to write in your music journal the seven elements of music that were highlighted in our lesson today. That's your assignment. 
boys and girls, I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Here's a summary of today's lesson. Boys and girls, I want you to remember that music can be analyzed by considering a variety of elements or parts individually or together. A commonly used list of the main music elements include melody, harmony, tempo, rhythm, dynamics, form, and texture. Also remember, boys and girls, that the seven elements of music are universally considered to be the fundamental systems that underspin all music. Playing music and singing with others is one of the powerful ways of learning about oneself, working with others, problem solving, and being a part of a team. Boys and girls, I hope that today's lesson has helped you gain some knowledge and has increased your musical skills through the study of the elements of music. Continue to strive to make music a part of your everyday life, boys and girls. As your music teacher, it is my duty and job to develop foster and implement a curriculum that will aid in discovering the gifts and talents in every student and prepare all of my students for middle and high school music courses, vocal and instrumental ensembles, and other arts clubs and organizations. Enhancing your music literacy and appreciation, boys and girls, is essential in all of you becoming lifelong learners, creators, consumers, and advocates of music. For more musical fun, you can visit my virtual music classroom at www.gwensmithmusicroom.com. You can enjoy singing and watching the Song of the Month videos, visit the Digital Music Library, Instrument Room, Game Room, and more. Boys and girls, it's also essential that you continue to soar and fly high and be a superstar and shine for success every day. Boys and girls, I want you to have a great day, and I will see you on next week. I'm so glad we had this time together, just to have a laugh or sing a song. Seems we just get started, and before you know it, comes the time we have to say so long, so long, farewell, I needn't say goodbye, the time has come for you to say goodbye.